So, Judith, we have our first question, and it's really, really topical. Essentially, the question is, my company has asked me to come back full time, and I'm not happy about it. How do I handle it? What do I do? Oh, my gosh, that's a good question. Really topical, really, really topical. It's very topical. And I'm hearing from my network all the time that they're getting um, emails and their bosses are calling them saying, we want you back in the office, you know, at least four days a week. And, you know, my advice would be, okay, if you get something like that from your company saying that you they want you back five days a week or four days a week and you're not happy with it, well, don't stay silent. Have a conversation with your boss because the first thing you want to find out is, is there any negotiation? Can I negotiate something different? So maybe if it's five days a week, I can come in later or leave earlier, whatever the flexibility is that you need and state those reasons and also talk about your productivity and that it's not going to affect that. Have that conversation. If if they say to you, nope, it's set in stone, five days, I'm sorry, everybody has to abide by it. Well, then that's their decision. They've strategically made that decision for the organization. Then the ball's in your court to decide whether or not you want to go with that decision. I would speak to um, a mentor or an advocate to have a discussion with them about whether or not um, a move would be good for you at this moment, depending on where you are and what level, because it's not a one size fits everyone, but have that conversation because nothing happens if you don't. If you just take it, well, then you might be making the wrong decision if you don't have the conversation with your boss. And I think a lot of it depends. Unfortunately, we don't know uh, what stage of the career of career this person's at. So if we knew what seniority or where they're at in their career, our answers might vary. For example, if this was somebody who was younger in their career, I know when I was young, young in my career, I was doing everything I could to be seen and be noticed. And that meant being in the office, working long hours, being seen, putting my hand up, volunteering for absolutely everything. So I think a lot of it depends on where people are at in their career. And I know Judith and I, we've had this conversation a lot. I'm a real proponent of remote work and asynchronous work. It's something that I that I believe in. But you have to have an organisation which is culturally aligned to that and putting time and intention into building that kind of culture. And if they're putting time and intention to your point, Judith, that it's a strategic intent that they are, they want you in the office, then they're not putting time and energy and money and resources into building a remote culture. So then ultimately you need to decide what's going to be good for your career, how are you going to advance yourself, and where is their values alignment? And only you can answer that right question. And also where are you at in terms of how you're feeling at the moment? What is the real reason why you don't want to go back in the office? Is it some sort of nervousness? Is it about not wanting to be around people, is it other things or is it more practical, logical things? So you need to do a bit of an inquiry and understand what's going on for you internally. And if you're, if you've got hesitancy about going out and turning up and showing up, then maybe that's an opportunity for some personal counseling as well. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things that it doesn't say in the question, we don't know what um, level this person is at. Agreed. My sort of um, conclusion on that is that if you're in your 20s and 30s and you're still climbing the ladder, um, I would be in the office and I would be uh, utilizing um, the opportunity to meet those connections and to learn from people around you. And, you know, so like Christina said, find the reasons why you don't want to go in back in and then deal with that. But don't forget that you're building something now that's going to be really important for you in the future. And, you know, we've got all these coaches and career and senior people as part of our networks. So we'd love to hear what you have to say as well about this, because I know a lot of people have different views about this. Christina. Absolutely. We'd love to hear your thoughts. It's a highly topical, highly relevant, highly contentious subject at the moment. And yeah, we'd love your thoughts on how this individual might handle the situation for themselves. Exactly. Join the conversation.